Hi, Domenica here from easysewingforbeginners.com. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to some of the features that you might find on a digital or computerized sewing machine. And this video is part of the Learn to Sew series. Okay, so your digital machine probably won't be the same as this, but hopefully it will help you to become a bit more familiar uh, with some of the features that you might find um, on, on your machine. Okay, so just starting on the side here, uh, you have your plugs. Um, mine have two separate plugs for the foot pedal and the power plug. And you've got your foot pedal here, which you put on the floor to help you operate your sewing machine. Got the on-off switch. And the top here you have a hand wheel, which you can turn to manually make your needle go up and down. I'm going to take you a bit closer now to have a look at the features at the top and the front of the sewing machine. Okay, so just starting at the top of the machine here, you have your spool pin to hold your thread on your sewing machine. This one here is a horizontal spool pin, so it has a um, spool disc that you can use to hold the thread in place. Coming over here, you'll have your thread guide. So this is your first thread guide that your thread will need to go behind. And you usually bring your thread down, so it's coming in between your tension discs, which are inside the machine there. And you'll have your tension dial. So this one has an automatic um, tension feature but um, you might have just a central or a neutral position that you can leave your um, tension dial in. So usually coming down you have a, another thread guide that you need to bring your thread under and then we bring it back up to the take-up lever and you can see in the front of your take-up lever that there's a hole so it's really important to make sure your thread comes through and is sitting in that hole there when you thread your sewing machine. Coming down now, you'll have another thread guide or two down here. So you should have a thread guide on your needle bar there, this little hook. Now my machine's got another thread guide just here as well. Okay, this is the automatic needle threader that you pull down to thread, put the thread through your needle and then just push it back up when you're not using it. You have your screw here to um, loosen the needle bar so you can change your needles over. This is your presser foot and there's a little lever on the back that you won't be able to see but this enables you to put your presser foot down and back up again. Underneath here you have your feed dogs, so this helps to pull your fabric through while you're sewing. And you also have your um, foot here, and these are interchangeable depending on the sewing project that you want to do. This machine here uh, has a top loading bobbin, so I'll be showing you how to load that in a later video. Coming back up to the top here, you have another thread guide. Now this one is for when you're putting thread onto your bobbin. You usually bring your thread around the thread guide and over to the bobbin spindle here, which you'll put your bobbin onto. To activate the bobbin spindle, you'll push, push it over to the right to activate it. Now in some machines, you might need to pull the hand wheel out or there might be a dial on there that you need to turn to disengage the machine. But um, this machine here will do that automatically. Now we have um, the speed slider here. So this one lets you um, only make your sewing machine go at a very slow speed and you can adjust it right up to a fast speed or you can just leave it in a fast speed and um, just adjust your speed manually with the foot pedal. Now, with these buttons here, you might have some of these features on your machine. One you'll definitely have is the reverse button feature. So you'll see this little symbol on your machine somewhere, and this enables you to do um, a reverse stitch or back stitch on your sewing machine. So you just press it in when you want to do it, and just release it to continue sewing normally. 
This button here is the needle up down button. So this enables you to um, stop and start your sewing with the needle in the down position if you want to, or if you're um, bringing your needle, um, your bobbin thread up, you can use this button, or even if you just want to do one extra stitch, you can use that button as well. This one here is a locking stitch, so you might have one of those on your machine as well. Coming over here to the display, uh, now your display will probably be a little bit different. Uh, I've got buttons here that lets you choose the stitch that you want at the press of a button. You might have a stitch guide that has a number correlating with the stitch and you might use your digital display to select the number of the stitch that you want. Um, you might also have a feature that allows you to adjust the width of your stitch if you're doing a zigzag or on my machine as well if I'm just doing a straight stitch I can use these buttons to adjust the position of the needle. Now these buttons over here allow you to adjust the length of the stitch so you'll see this symbol on your machine somewhere that will allow you to do that. Okay, So you can make a, a longer stitch length or a shorter stitch length. Okay, so there are some of the basic features of a digital sewing machine. I hope you found this video useful and don't forget to check out the other videos in the Learn to Sew series and to help you become a more successful and confident sewer. Thanks for watching.